What's going on, peeps? Oh, God. Young Guns Hockey here. What's going on? We're, gonna, we're, we're thinking of uh, changing our name because uh, a college team sued us. Yeah. So we have to change it after year yeah, one. Yeah, we got to change our name after uh, the, the season. That is pretty funny. All that. right. Nice. So welcome to the Young Guns Podcast. We're going to be talking about some things today. Um, first, I think we're going to go over some uh, games tonight. Maybe we could do some predictions, like what we think, who's going to win, etc. All right, yeah. so first game on the list here, Sabres, Islanders. Well, who do you take in this game? Buffalo. Now I'm going to take Buffalo. What's the score? Uh, I I honestly, I'm not going to probably predict this because I'm going to be way off. I know that. I say Buffalo will score for at least two goals, I think. It's going to be 2 nothing. Yeah, I'm going to say uh, Buffalo 2-1 two in this one, game. Yeah. Wild yeah. Rangers, pretty good game tonight. Wild uh, Rangers, oh, sorry, did I interrupt you? I, Oh no, you're fine. Um, I I don't, I just don't see the under scoring. I I I am still dumbfounded on um what they did, which was get rid of proposal for Lad. Yeah. For, which made no sense. Yeah, that made no sense. Uh, um, what, how's those seven points, Islanders? Five mil next uh, seven years, like five yeah, years. Well, when I found out that in the NHL it's seventeen, cool. that was pretty funny. No, he signed a yeah, he signed a six-year deal. Just in case. If it's just a game. Andrew Ladd signing a six-year deal with the Islanders, five mil. That was earlier yeah, this year. Great but signing. great signing for the Islanders. Yeah, seven points in thirty-seven games is pretty great. Signing. All right, uh, another um, game on tonight. Wild and Rangers, pretty good game. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the uh, Wild in this one. I like the way the Wild are playing lately. Eric Stahl has been a great pickup for them. Everyone say that he's too slow. He can't skate. Well, he has twenty-six points. Well, so. Yeah, but he's not the producer that he once was. But he's a great pickup for them. Oh okay, yeah, he's playing fantastic there. Yeah. Uh, the wild. I'm gonna say wild two one. Devin Dubnik. Yeah, I, I think's gonna have a great night. Um, yeah, Dubnik is playing fast. Unless he isn't playing that. I think Darcy. Oh no, Cooper's playing tonight. Excuse me. Yeah, I'll say wild still. I feel like they can still get it done. <laughs> Devils and Penguins. What do you What do you say about this one? Well, uh, I do like the Devils. I, I like two teams, like um, the Devils and Hawks. Cause, but I do. I don't see the Devils having any chance against. What, them. What's your I, score prediction for this uh, game? I, I think probably three to one. Oh, crap. I forgot to do the Wild and Rangers prediction. I'm going to go uh, Wild 3-2. I think the Wild would win, too. I want them to win. They, they're on eight, one, 8 in a row, right? Eight, this, this 9 in a row. 9 in a row now. Mm -hmm. So if they win, it's 10 then, pretty much. All right. Lightning and Capitals. That's another game yes. on the night. Interesting game. It sounds game. good, but when you look at the record, it's, like, confusing. I'm going to take Capitals in this one. They've had the day good. of rest. The Lightning played last night. They beat the Blues 5-2, so... Yeah, I'm going to take Capitals 3-1 this game. Blue Jackets, Canadians, will we see another 10-0 uh, victory here? No, uh, but I know Montoya's in that, so that might be a little bit suspicious. But he, well, I mean, like Price played last night. Goalie. Yeah, I know, but Price so. can take back-to-backs too, but whatever it is, what it is. I don't think it's going to be a 10 nothing goal, but I hope the Blue Jackets... I don't, that's a hard game. I, I want the Jackets That is a hard game to predict. I... <laughs> You know, I'm going to take the Canadians in this game. Yeah, mainly yeah. because the Blue Jackets are coming off a win against the Penguins. They've played two tough back. teams in the last two days. So I'm going to take Canadians like 3-2 in this game. Maybe extra time or something like that. But I, I just don't see the Blue Jackets winning this game. It'll be nice, though. I, I want them to win. Yeah. You know, because the, they're a very classy organization. And they've been playing pretty well this year. All right, the so only Red thing, if oh. they can stay consistent over the years, then, then they can be a threat. But okay. I, I still don't. I see they're doing fantastic, but I don't really consider them seeing a long-term threat because most of the teams that come in the playoffs in the East, they usually bounce back. Like, Philly does it all the time. Mm -hmm. um, we saw it with Ottawa a couple years ago, Calgary, um, and Florida right now. Um, so Cal they, Calgary's on an Eastern team. No, no, but they step back from the... They're not in the East, but, I mean, we, that they're an example of teams that were set back. But there are many teams in the East that set back after making the playoffs. Ottawa, Philly, and what right now, Florida. Tampa right now is... I have no idea what's going on with Tampa. I know Tampa... I know Steven Stamkos is injured, but I mean, it may. But that team is so much depth; it, it's really mind-boggling to see see this team in this position. Though. Yeah, they're not they're not playing consistently. You know, playing, I think that's yeah. a problem. It's kind of like Nashville. Nashville going the same way. I, honestly, not I, I think that this, like long term, the Subban trade should work out for them. But right now, it looks like it I, mean, I still have, I still have them down as a cup contender. That, that's I me. I, I, I still do. Because I feel like they'll I get through like this. They need it because I, I know it sounds stupid, but I think they need to add another star instead of getting rid of one for one. But I mean, they they, have, you can't do that. They I have mean, Ryan Johansson now. They have, they have that center goal scoring that they needed. Yes, they need. Yeah, they have that. But I mean, like, but I, I see this team maxed. I don't see I see him still there. making the playoffs. I don't think I, they're going I, anywhere there. But I, I don't know, man. Like every time they they did something, like November was like they were fantastic, and now they're back to back to earth again. Mm. 
And I, with this complete cluster of um, of a way to get into the playoffs with the wild cards, I don't know. I mean, it's 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 mind boggling for me to think that the Pacific Division, which is probably one of the weakest divisions in the entire league right now, have all the wild card spots. You mm -hmm. would expect the Central Division to take that, uh -huh. but no, they're they're, they, they're bad too. So it it really is. Um, it's really confusing to think that way. I, I have no idea. I, <laughs> I just lost track of what I'm doing. All right. So, uh, Red Wings, Panthers is another game on tonight. I think the Panthers will take Panthers, it. again, it's kind of the same thing. Detroit's not been playing that great lately. Yeah. Jimmy Howard's hurt now, so that's probably not even going to be Howard good. Howard also Ben Bishop's hurt. For ben Lightning. Bishop's hurt for the Lightning. A lot of injuries lately. Um, but I say, I'm going to say Panthers in this game. I just don't see Detroit winning this game. I mean, they're just not showing a lot of promise lately in their yeah, play. Yeah. They're not playing um, good defensively. I'm going to say four to four nothing in this game. I just don't see no, Detroit. I don't see them four nothing because I don't think. What's Florida, your prediction? Florida can't. I don't think. What's Florida your prediction, sir? Scoring. Uh, my prediction. I think Florida will win two to one. I don't see them blowing them up. Okay. Bruins, Hurricanes. Bruins, Hurricanes. Uh, Bruins been uh, playing okay lately. I guess. I can say um, I, I might go with the Hurricanes because they're nothing without Rask. Hurricanes are playing actually pretty decently. Yeah, though. it just sucks that they're in a division that you know. Yeah, they're completely. They can't set. do anything in. Like that that division's already set. You have, to have like an um, Yeah, I'm gonna go again. Set. I'm gonna go Hurricanes in this right. game. Yeah, going go three one Hurricanes. I'll go with Canes. Another great game on the night, Dallas and the Kings. Okay. Dallas just again isn't getting it done. Their two amazing goaltenders aren't doing anything there. Great goaltending. Great goaltending. Kari Wetteman. Kari Wetteman. Kari Wetteman and Niami says yes. Yes. I don't know who's in that tonight, actually. Let me see who's in that for Dallas. Kari Letteman's in that. Great. Um, but I think uh, LA is going to win this game. I think they're going to win 3-2. Uh, Canucks and Flames, Canadian rivalry there. Um, uh, I say Calgary because I don't think Vancouver has the, the depth to do it. Cal so, you're saying Calgary? Or? Yeah, Calgary. Yeah, I say Van Calgary. Is Chad Johnson starting tonight or is it Elliot? Probably Elliot. It's pro Elliot. Yeah, Brian Elliott starts tonight. Uh, <laughs> That's a little bit concerning. I still think they'll get the win. I think, I think Calgary step, will. Step I think in. Calgary will hold on like two to one. LA like really that. needs to step in now. Um, pretty special night for the state of Arizona. Oh, yeah. Matthews comes yeah, in town bad. tonight. I bet it's like when they come back, they'll only get like two extra fans in the building. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Maple Leafs play the Coyotes, and Saint Dome plays his 1500th game, and he's only one goal away from 400. Oh, my God. So I mean, a special night in Arizona for sure. Quite a, an event. Fantastic. Did I miss any games here? Oh, great. Hawks and Avalanche. That's a great game. Everyone wants to watch that, eh? They can't even beat the, the Leafs. So. As a Hawks fan, I'm not really excited for this game. <laughs> like, yeah, it's not just either. not exciting. That game is, is not really exciting. It, it, Doesn't mean it's it going to be a bad down. game, maybe, but... There's a 50-50. The I thing mean, is, the Hawks, Hawks are losing um, all their depth, but I don't yeah. think they can beat the Islanders. Have they faced the Islanders yet? I don't remember that. Yeah, because, again, the Avalanche are trying to end a five-game losing streak. Again, Avalanche aren't going to be too happy. They lost 6 nothing last night. They might be a little aggressive tonight, which would make sense. Hawks are without two guys, though, some good depth guys. Host has been a pretty key factor lately in goal scoring. Yeah, so but I think Crawford's back. That could be. And then also needs to be off on injury reserve. And then Vin Vinistroza is unsure to play tonight. Yeah. But Crawford's so, back, I thought. Yeah. Uh, Drew, we're probably going to have to stop the recording here pretty soon because I think this only goes up to 10 minutes, so yeah, we'll have to no, break you, it up. You, 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 I usually just uh, pause. How I do it is I pause it and practically go on to the next topic. Yeah, exactly. So we're, we're just doing score predictions right now. Yeah. Drew so. just told us the way of trade. Yes. Uh, okay, so Sharks and Oilers. I'm going to take Sharks in this game, hopefully, because I'm a Sharks fan as well, Hawks and Sharks fan. Yeah. I'm going to take Sharks 3-1. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I really hope that I, I I'm not I don't know what the score was. That's fifty fifty to me, but I honestly think I would I want the Oilers to win that game. Okay. So those are all the score predictions tonight. We're just gonna move on to like kind of controversial things now. Yes. So yeah. All right, so we're moving on to some controversial topics here. You have any uh, interesting things you wanna talk about? Uh no. What do you what do you want to talk about? You know, I wanna talk about a couple things that have been going on lately in the league. One of those for sure is JVR on the trade block. There's been all kind of rumors going around right now. James Van Hockey. James Van Hockey, baby. Mm -hmm. And I kind of want to talk about a couple concerns with a couple NHL teams as well. So I'm going to go with JVR first. I just don't see him being traded. It's just an unrealistic thing at this time for the Maple Leafs. I don't, I don't see it If the Maple Leafs, like, decline, start going down, yeah, yeah maybe. It, but but I, not no. now at this time. Because um, I don't understand. He's playing pretty good on that power play. I don't understand why they're like, oh, but I'm not saying they—they're not saying they necessarily want to trade him though. But they are listening to offers apparently, 
apparently Anaheim wants to give him Cam Fowler and like a fifth or something. That's what I heard. Which is a good trade for Toronto. They need defense, but at the same time, I don't know why Anaheim would do that because they aren't really the greatest right now. <laughs> They're not consistent <laughs> at all. They'll, loo- they'll win like one game barely, then they'll lose horribly like the next game. <laughs> That's Anaheim this season. And they just haven't been consistent. Um, that's just the Ducks. That was kind of one of the concerns as well. They're just not being consistent. What do you What do you think about the Ducks? Uh, the Ducks are inconsistent as well. Like they're in first and they're garbage. They're not first in the. the no, seven. but they'll play as garbage. Oh and yeah, they're in first. They're horrible. Else like, sucks. They're not horrible. But like the Ducks just but don't have like, that team like they did last year. They're not. You can tell like they're they didn't aging. Even have a team last year. I mean, all they did was just try her hardest to get first, and then they were nothing in the playoffs. Oh well, yeah, because remember last year the Anaheim Ducks came all the way back from last in the league to this to 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 be in the playoffs and then get eliminated in seven games. Yeah, by so Nashville, there, there's but... still hope that the Pacific will be good again if Anaheim does that. But I, I I'm not. I'm yeah. I mean, I'm LA. To it. If LA wins tonight, I think they actually get back in the third, in the top three in the Pacific. Oh my god, it keeps changing. So it, it changes all the time. It's a fucking Pacific. Yeah. It's the worst thing about being a Sharks fan. The Pacific is so goddamn bad. The Pacific it's is horrible. garbage. Like, it, it's just garbage. I mean, it's, it, it the Central was the like that earlier. No, no, the whole West sucks because Winnipeg is yeah. below 500 and they're and then they're, they're, they're in the playoff spot. They're no, pretty not, much. They're not in the playoff spot now. Well, they have a not, chance to I mean, be. But they have a chance to be in the playoff spot. And if you're in, like, Metro, you're done. Like, yeah. I mean, that's how the Met, That's, that's how how good that now. division is if, right If now. you were, like, a team, like, fourth in the Central, you're done. Like, the Islanders, I don't think, are you, making the playoffs. They're done. They're, they're done. They're not they're done, done, but I don't no, think they're, they're making they're, it. There's no, I don't see how they're going to make it. They they blew it, and then when they're trying to come back, how on earth are you going to come back with a division like that now? I don't see it. New, yeah, New Jersey blew it, too. They were on a fantastic The thing with the Islanders, too, seven is... In a row, that's a great sign. And then they're back to earth now. But, whatever. Well, the Islanders, anyway, I think that's interesting about them is they've had a lot of waiver claims lately. They've put some guys that actually have somewhat potential, and they're all going to teams like Detroit, uh, Toronto. So I don't really know what the Islanders are doing there. It's kind of weird. Um, another team I wanted to talk about was the... Um, what's it? Not Toronto. Oh, Vancouver. Kind of what they're position is right now what do you think their position is they should be rebuilding but their management says no yeah pretty much a great example i mean vancouver is just a team that is kind of stuck stuck in a lost cause you know they're not really going anywhere but at the same time that that management wants us wants them to go somewhere because remember in the off season everybody was overhyping willie erickson yeah. and how he would carry this team that's not he happening nothing he's i'm not saying he's done nothing he's playing okay there but like, nothing. what? I don't think he he's not doing nothing. That. He's getting well, in the beginning. He wasn't what he was acting like. They were like, he... beginning he, he was terrible. I don't know what he's doing now, but the beginning he wasn't that great. Yeah, yeah, that's kind um, of interesting. Not, there. Definitely not the signing that they were expecting. Yeah. Well, um, an interesting thing I want to talk about was uh, the Sedins. What's their future there? They're gonna. I think they're gonna retire as Canucks. You think so? Yeah. I, I just don't see him retiring there. I see them retiring there. I, I don't. I see them getting traded, maybe going back there to retire. Mm, but I, I like, don't see them. The purpose of them, them signing there is because they were the veterans. They they were the team that was going to lead you. They're the players, I should say. Sorry. Yeah. I'm, over, I'm, I'm playing a video game while doing the podcast. At the wow, time. what a goof. I'm such a genius. Um, so... Um, yeah, I think they're keeping them there because they're the only veteran players there. They're the only ones that know the system That's not very true. well out of everyone That's else. Not true. They've been there since their draft There's year. all kinds of guys there, though. It's not yeah, just... but they've been there since, what, 1999, since their draft year. So that, yeah. they're the oldest players there. So of Okay, that makes more sense. If I, just, I thought you were saying like they're the only dub there. Like, no, that's no not but true. They're, they're the best p- players to keep for veteran-wise to learn your system. Yeah, makes that's sense. That's why they should stay there, and that's why they are there. Mm. So, But now I think if you want to trade them like at the end when they're producing and they're the final year, then yeah. Yeah, you should do it. Well, let's talk about that, that shit stain in the NHL right now, the Colorado Avalanche. What do you, what do you think about that? Um... They're definitely, uh, it is kind of shocking to me to, to see this team was first a, like a couple years ago, and now they're now they're tanking for uh, Noah Patrick. I don't think they're tanking. I don't even think, think they, they don't, don't need Noah Patrick. Know, they're not even tanking. The thing is, they don't even back. need him. 
you look at their center core, they have Landon Skog. Duchesne's technically a center, but I think they're playing on the wing. Right. And then they have McKinnon. They don't need Noah Patrick. They that need is, defense badly. Yeah, they need a trade center. That, Very badly. They have three, like, top A guy I think top, they could probably get guys. rid of is probably, like, Tyson Berry staying because they need to build off something on the defensive end. Yeah, but a guy like maybe Landon Skog they could trade. He hasn't really had the best seasons the last couple of years. Yeah, and he's their captain, though, so I don't think see them not. Not No, McKinnon is, right? I thought McKinnon was. I thought it was Landon Skog because he was the youngest captain know. at one point. I don't know. I don't know. There's going to be some unhappy avalanche fan in the comments because we don't know the fucking captaincy. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Very well I have no idea. Well, uh, anything else you want to talk about? This team, uh, not really, actually. Uh, I don't know what I was trying to say. I was trying to say a joke, but we probably went wrong. Mm. Um, we could talk about the Leafs. I mean, sports, no. no. <laughs> we're, we're not sports. No, net. we're not sports. Net. We're not sports. Net. We're, uh, we're an unreliable. Net. Unreliable hockey podcast in Chicago, based in yes. Chicago. So it's we're like, millennials. We're millennials. <laughs> we're not biased as like CS on Chicago. Oh, we might be. We might be biased. I don't want to be Gary Foley biased. You know what I mean? Gary Fo you mean Pat Foley? Pat Foley, Gary excuse Foley. me, Gary Foley. Gary Foley. Who the fuck is Gary Foley? Gary, Pat Foley. Yeah, I, I even pronounce his name. Eddie Olchuk's a legend, though. I, uh, yeah, I Eddie Olchuk is a great guy. Yeah, he's like great. he's a funny guy. Uh, he's on NBCSN games every like week or so. Yeah, one's in that rivalry. Pretty good commentator. It sucks that we only, the Americans can only get to see one game and, and, and once mm. one game a week. You oh yeah, World Juniors. We can talk about that. Yay! Forgot about it's that. The most wonderful. World guy. Juniors start Monday, so pretty good chunk of games coming here pretty soon. Yeah. Um, NHL has a free day break, so that's that. It's the most wonderful um, time. And World Juniors and the USA, year. especially, is in a tough pool. <laughs> um. Yeah, they're, they're in a tough pool, except Latio. Yeah, they played Latio the first day, which... Yeah, so that's a good sign. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, um, yeah, probably won't be good. Uh, now it's going to be, because uh, every year, the, the worst two teams in each pool, they compete for this uh, thing where they, whoever wins gets to stay in the tournament, whoever loses cannot compete next year. Which I think is kind of interesting. That is interesting. That's why Belarus is in it. It's mm -hmm. Switzerland's still in, so I, they're surviving, so yep. they're that team that will survive. And um, Is Germany in there? I think Germany is not in there. They were kicked out a couple of years ago. So I'm thinking... Well, how long? So that's, like, that's another question. For a year. It's just for a year. Oh, I thought it was... It's, it's not for eternity. That doesn't make if sense. they did that for, like, ever, then they'll be running out of teams. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a lot of why, teams. Because then Afghanistan will have a team, and, and that will just be a oh, no. nightmare. Um, or just in general, maybe Team France or Afghanistan. They're, like, just that, you know. Mm. So whatever. Um... Or maybe a team North. No, they're not doing that. Wow, they do too team many North. more. That team West America. Ridiculous. It doesn't exist, but whatever. That was ridiculous. It is. It's ridiculous. Well, I don't really think there's anything else we can talk about, really. I mean, there's tons of stuff, but well, I don't we want, could talk you know. about the World Juniors. I mean, we haven't made videos in a month, so we would. Probably yeah, we've been a, busy. We'd probably have like a final exams, subs. baby. Yeah, Woo! We would probably have like hundred subs by now if we were talking about everything else. That's yeah. Going on. But don't worry, we're on Christmas break right now, so we'll probably be able to do more yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, we get to at least cover the classics. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think that's about to wrap up the podcast. I mean, we can do more individual podcasts about other stuff. Uh, I usually do it because I have most of the views. Yeah, Jordan does it, and I just yeah. make all the common, comedy stuff. Yeah. Whatever I call it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the podcast here. And Jordan, any final words? This sucks. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for that ad watch game. Oh, my God. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. So, see you guys later. See you guys later. I predict that Pacific will be like a cup contender in a few years. No!